I spent 15 years trying to clear my acne. I did every birth control pill, every Retin-A micro, different gel, all these different things, right? I can't even tell you how many things I did. Every topical thing, everything. And I finally was able to clear my acne naturally from the inside out. And I have a feeling that you are here because that is you too. You feel like you've tried absolutely everything to clear your skin and nothing has worked and you really want help. So today I'm going to talk about the three main reasons you haven't been able to clear your acne yet and what to do instead. Let's go. Hi there. My name is Jill Therese. And after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my skin naturally. I created my acne clearing program, the clear code to help you do the same 10 years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without harsh chemicals, pills, and or creams. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. There are three main reasons you haven't been able to clear your acne yet. Okay. Number one, it is not a one size fits all approach. Number two, you aren't being consistent. I know. And number three, your body is a symphony. Let's discuss. Number one, natural acne clearing or acne clearing in general is not a one size fits all approach. Okay. The reason you haven't been able to clear your skin is because I think, again, we all think this, this is common. You're in good company. We think that it'll be as simple as just taking a pill, a cream, a thing, right? And everything is fixed. And unfortunately, acne is systemic and individual. And so here's what I mean by that. There are four conditions needed at the pore for you to break out. You need too many skin cells, too much oil, skin cells aren't sloughing off correctly. And then P. acnes gets into the pore and makes a breakout form. That's why you break out. And that being said, there is a lot of information on the internet about acne that doesn't address those four issues. But the most important questions that you can ask yourself even today are how is what I'm eating? how I'm moving, what I'm using topically, all of these things. How is, are all of those actions impacting those four conditions at the pore? Because what worked for someone else, whatever cleanse someone else did, whatever the blah, 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 they did, it may have worked for them and that's wonderful, but your body, your skin probably needs something a little different. I've helped over a thousand people clear their acne naturally from the inside out. And there are two parts to the acne clearing process. Okay. One is 49% of the equation. The other one's 51% of the equation. 49% of the equation is that there are fundamentals of clear skin that apply to everyone. So you have blood sugar management challenges, gut health challenges, hormonal challenges, food allergies, stress, topical misuse, and overall inflammation at the pore. Those are like the common things that we see, right? Those fundamentals apply to everyone. Estrogen de detoxification, liver detoxification. And I, I will say that I feel like that's a lot of what people read about, right? They hear about estrogen dominance, for example. They'll heal, hear about PCOS or insulin resistance, all these things. So those fundamentals are true and real and important to know. The second part of the equation, the 51%, I shall say, is the customized action steps based on you and your skin. So let's say you are a 24 to 25 Five year old woman who's come off the birth control pill anytime over the past six to 12 months. Is that you? Comment yes below. So. <laughs> and you really want to clear your acne naturally, right? You really want to start to clear your skin from the inside out. Your customized plan, your acne clearing plan is going to be different from someone who is a 38 year old mother of four or her hormonal profile will be different. Her skin type, her skin sensitivity, skin color, all of these different things are going to be very different than they are for you. So it's really important to keep these items in mind that everyone's a little different and that acne clearing is a two part process, fundamentals and customized action steps. And I would say the majority of people that I work with miss out on that customized action steps part. Second reason you haven't been able to clear your acne, and I know this one's going to hurt a little bit, is because you haven't been consistent. Now, here's why you haven't been consistent. I know you. I actually don't think you struggle with consistency or discipline. I don't think that's one of your problems. You can do hard things very easily, right? And even if they kind of suck, you're like, yeah, whatever, it's worth it. The issue with your lack of consistency has to do with the first challenge. And that is, I think you're trying to DIY this. I think you're trying to do it on your own and you're doing a lot of Googling, doing a lot of seeking on the internet, right? You're like looking for a lot of things. You're spending a lot of time on TikTok, on Instagram or on YouTube, and you're doing a lot of searching for answers to the problems. And that's great. And it's also going to be detrimental to your journey because what's happening is you're going to get very confused, <laughs> right? You're going to feel like I heard this causes acne, but this, then someone said it doesn't. I heard this is the plan I should follow, but then someone else said I should do something different. Like you're going to get opposing views. And I will say again, those 
those four conditions at the pore, so too many skin cells, too much oil, skin cells don't slough off, and the P. acnes gets in is what creates a breakout. And then also you have seven kind of fundamental root acne triggers that apply to everyone, okay? I already mentioned them, but I'll say them again. Blood sugar management, gut health challenges, hormonal imbalances, food allergies, stress, misuse of topical products and or overall inflammation. That's why you're most likely breaking out. One combo pack of those seven that I just mentioned. But if you're trying to define that on your own, and let's say you're a speech pathologist or you're a kindergarten teacher or you're a school counselor, it's not your specialty. You're not a nurse, you're not a doctor, you're not a nutritionist. You don't have necessarily like the wealth of knowledge that you may need to understand exactly what's happening for you. And so what's happening is you're doing a lot of research. You're getting like some of the fundamentals, like I mentioned, you're getting some of those. You know that you've been off the pill for, the, for a while, right? You know that you're probably dealing with potentially high estrogen or low progesterone or your cycles are too short. Like you know something for sure, but you also aren't entirely sure. And so what's happening is maybe you're deciding on a course of action, potentially something that's really restrictive, like removing all sugar, dairy or gluten or something. And what's happening is that's causing a lot of potentially more inflammation in other ways. It's not even addressing the root of the issue. And then also what's happening is you're not entirely sure that it's the right path for you. And so as a result, maybe you're falling off the wagon here or there. So like you're being consistent for two to three weeks, but you aren't sure how much of an improvement you should see. You aren't sure how many different things you should try. You aren't sure about a lot. And so maybe your consistency is waxing and waning and or you're consistent like really consistent for two to three weeks and you see absolutely no change and so you're like ah oh, screw this when in fact you might have been on the right path but you're just not sure so again i don't actually think you struggle with consistency or discipline i think you struggle with truly understanding the root of the issue and then as a result you're not entirely confident in the action steps that you're deciding to take does that sound familiar? The third reason you have not been able to clear your acne naturally yet is because your body is a symphony, but you are treating it like a machine. This is very common. I used to do this all the time. And I think this is deeply linked back to how a lot of the traditional approaches attempt to treat acne. A lot of the traditional methods will try to treat acne by addressing one factor in the acne creation process. So they'll like benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid, for example, will focus on treating the P. acnes at the pore. They'll address the bacterial issue, for example, but will totally neglect to address the other conditions, too many skin cells, too much oil, and skin cells don't slough off. Whereas something like the birth control pill will address the oil levels at the pore by temporarily lowering androgen levels, but it doesn't address the other issues. And then the second you stop taking the pill, you have a resurgence of acne. Or something like tretinoin, retin-A, those topical creams will increase skin cell turnover, which is why you have purging, for example but they don't actually address the other factors. So many of the traditional approaches to acne treat it almost like your body's like a machine and that it they'll try to address one aspect of the, like they'll take out a part of the machine, oil, for example, and they'll just like remove it. Accutane does that, right? It lowers oil levels. But then what about the rest of your body, right? Your body is a symphony that moves together. And a key example is something like taking the birth control pill just for your acne, okay? You take the pill for your acne and let's say it temporarily lowers androgen levels. So it positively impacts those oil levels at the pore and you don't have acne here anymore. But then as you're doing that, it also negatively impacts your gut health. Women on the pill are constant or pretty chronically known to be chronically low in certain vitamins like zinc, vitamin A, B vitamins, magnesium. It maybe negatively impacts your gut microbiome. So it leads to an overgrowth of opportunistic bacteria. It impacts your mood, your weight, like everything gets impacted because we've pulled out this one piece that we thought we could fix. And instead, what we should be focusing on is trying to address all of the challenges that our body's having from an inside out perspective and treating the body like a symphony. It all works together. It's an orchestra. All of the pieces work together. What you eat impacts your skin. What you yeah, eat impacts your brain, it impacts your eyeballs, it impacts your heart, it impacts your stomach. Of course it's gonna impact your acne. And so looking at our body as like a collective symphony, I keep using that word, as opposed to like a machine where you can pick apart little pieces and like fix things, 
and not believe you're going to impact other aspects is so much more beneficial when you're trying to heal your acne naturally from the inside out. So that being said, if you see yourself in these challenges, if you know that you're not entirely consistent, if you know you haven't been able to determine the root acne cause for yourself, and if you feel like a lot of the approaches you've taken to heal your acne have just tried to address one factor of the process, and you really want to start to understand why you're breaking out in the first place, you want to get clear on your root acne triggers and define action steps to clear your acne naturally to create a lifestyle plan that clears your skin naturally, apply to my natural acne clearing program, The Clear Code. You can find the link here. We define your root acne triggers. We define the action steps that will take to start to clear your acne naturally over time. And we put them in place to create a lifestyle that supports clear skin, which becomes called your clear code. So if you're interested in learning more, apply here. Thank you for being here. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one.